Hey guys, this is Pat from Elite Action Joe Studios. I am here in our Joe room with Jameson Hi. and Emma. Hi. <laughs> yeah, my voice cracked there. <laughs> um, so today we are doing a little uh, filming. Um, instead of doing what I want to do, which is drink coffee and hang out with my dachshund. So, cool shirt my family got me for Father's Day. You guys remember Dexter from Our his, favorite uh, little dachshund baby. His little stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, so today we're shooting a little different here. Am I still in frame? Yep, you're still in frame. It looks like a nice interview, right? I'm going to start off with two uh, small things. One is, uh, I don't usually do birthday shoutouts because I don't really pay attention to people's birthdays. Um, however, we do the uh, YouTube Joe um, thing on Facebook, um, and I got a, an alert that it was Richard Brown's birthday. Hey. I don't know when it was, a day or two ago. So happy birthday, Richard Brown. You guys know Richard Brown's name from our community spotlight files, which we're waiting for some more uh, submissions from him. We do have one other person we're working on. Um, also, Lockdown Productions. We still haven't figured out what the answer 42 was. <laughs> but what the question? So yeah, we don't know. We don't know what the answer. I it's mean, it's we, like Jeopardy. We don't have a question to the answer that you gave us. So. I'm I'm pretty sure he's playing Jeopardy with us. So we've given up. So if you could just let us know, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. Uh, all right, <laughs> moving on with questions and answers. We didn't get a lot this week, but it worked out perfectly fine. Because I'm going to start off with a couple easy ones from Spider Monkey, and then we're going to move to. Let's see if you guys can guess. Who the second questions are from based on locale this wall oh. <laughs> so first one is for me from spider monkey so uh, a lot of you know i've talked about how i was going to open a toy store i had a huge action fig figure collection thousands and 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 thousands yes that many. we get it um thank you uh which was stolen from me, from uh, actually a relative. Um, I don't get into the who's and the what's and where But Tom over at Spider Monkey said, if the thief that stole your collection was in front of you, what would you say? Number one, I couldn't say anything that I wanted to say because my children are in the room and I don't have that much money for the swear jar. Um, my regards to God. So, it's a tricky situation, but um, yeah, something, something to that now. No, I mean, it. Uh, I have, uh, I don't know how to say it. You can forgive, but not forget. Yeah. I guess is the best. I, I, I have had You've come some to contact that. with that person. Uh, he was in prison for unrelated burglaries. Um, and while he was in there, he did send me a handwritten note about it, which is between us. Uh, so forgiveness uh, is probably... I probably reached that thanks to my kids. Not that they encouraged it. It's just that my <laughs> I kids, would usually encourage the other. Yeah, Jay would have encouraged me. But um, but they just uh, they've made me a different person uh, over the years. So let's just leave it at that. So basically, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a, a lot to say. Um, but that's kind of how I feel about the situation. Interesting question, Tom. Really hitting the old heart, little heart strings. Thousands and thousands. <clears throat> anyway, okay. Uh, then he asks, in pertaining to the G.I. Joe Super Show, and we're going to start with Emma on this one, because Emma can't watch a lot of it, but she has seen bits and pieces and parts I've called her in the room for. Um, so we're going to start with her, but his question is, so as far as the G.I. Joe Super Show, who character-wise would we like to see more of in Season 2? Emma! The dog. The adventure team dog. Because she loves animals. All animals. Every animal. Um, Wait, speaking of animals, maybe you'll see my cat on a, in a future video. You know, there's a person, uh, uh, One Six Studios, always has his dog, the beagle at the end. Remember, I showed yeah. you the beagle? And I've been telling him I'm going to show uh, the cat. Now, we have three cats. Uh, one is Emma's. One is... Technically, Jay's because him and his mother picked it out when I said no. Mom was saying, yeah. So and then the like other one that they none of none of the animals I said okay to. <laughs> and then they brought the, this this black and uh, striped cat home, and I was like, whatever, it's here now. There's nothing I can do. And for some reason now he's like my shadow. 
I love him one day to death. <laughs> because he drives me insane, but I love him. He's fantastic. And then, of course, our dog. But um, anyway, so she loves a, so she loved the Adventure Team dog. Thought it was a cool bit. Uh, Jay, what, which character would you like to see more the of? The Adventure Team Attorney. The Adventure. I knew he was gonna. I knew he was gonna answer that. The name just has such a ring to it as well. That is a great character. That's definitely the Adventure Team lawyer, attorney. The attorney. I know what that is. He's he's very. The guy with the mustache and briefcase always telling him to stop swearing. She may not have seen oh. him. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Because he comes in usually when they're swearing, and those yeah. are the parts I. Uh, and speaking of swearing, I'd like to see more of the Sea Adventure. Which, yeah. is, which is just more segments you can't watch. That, that's yeah, a close second good. for me as well. Yeah, actually. I love the Sea Adventure. If I had to choose somebody else, though, I wouldn't. <laughs> Harry Tang. No, no, stop, Jay. Um, okay, so those are those, and then, boy, this is an intriguing question. Is that too bright? Is that what you're I, I turned it away. It's more of it's just washing out a little bit. We got to get you some makeup. Yeah, we've been having no. issues. You've probably noticed some of ours. We've been having some issues with lighting. Uh, my wife did buy me some different of the YouTuber lights. Uh, ring lights. So we've been trying with different things with the ring lights. We think that our big light is washing me out, but that doesn't seem to be the... The last couple Q&As have been washed out from my right side, and so we've tried a different thing, but now he just spun one. Is it okay now? Or? That's better. It might even just be the overheads. I mean, it's my face, so we, there's not much we can work with. Okay, so we're going to move on now to some questions from Pop Blocks 4583. His first question is actually a question for Jameson, uh, technically, because he said, when can I be a guest on the question and answer series? Now, there's two options to this. Um, you can drive up here, and uh, which we have had discussions about. Yeah, we can fly them up. Unfortunately, for the price is right. um, I'm all busted up in this whole summer's wash. Which brings me actually, me at that point, his second question was: Are going to the Hershey show this year? We are not because of this. Um, but that's another bummer. So that's two years in a row I've let you down on the Hershey show. But uh, we're going to shoot for next year, unless we can pretend there's one somewhere else. I am actually going to start looking to see if there's any other ones in Pennsylvania, New York, any place that might be close for both of us, and we'll figure it out. Maybe Adam can drive all the way across the entire planet to join us. Can he drive That's a joke. Water? For, he lives, well, he also has to come all the way up from the TLC bunker as oh, well. He basically Arizona. lives on some, like the surface of Mars, it looks yeah. like sometimes. But anyway. I think Mars is more hospitable. No, wait, no, he lives in Scorpion City. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scorpion City. Emma said he, she can't visit you because she's afraid of scorpions. That's my biggest fear. Okay, uh, so back to the original question. Uh, when can he be a guest on the Q&A series? Now, I, I was saying you can drive up here and be on it sometime. Um, the only other option is to pass it to my tech guy to get in touch with you and you guys figure out I, we, Zoom or... We, no, we got, we got to go way back to the old times. We got to go Skype. What is Skype that? or <laughs> you've never heard of... no. some sort of thing where you're on the screen with us, like when you did the live. Uh, like we uh, got to do a video call stuff. and somehow live stream it. So, but we we could work on that. We can try and pull that off. Um, I'll pull give you a, a buzz one day and we'll, we'll kick, or pull we'll a split around. screen like we did with the Adam video. Yeah, we could no because he, we, it would have to be something. Yeah, but to get the questions, we can just use Discord and do a split screen. Well, basically, we'll figure it out. Which brings us to the final question on this half of question and answers. Mm, don't get excited. It's going to take a while. Yeah, don't, don't think you're done so soon, pal. So, his next question is, how many Pop Locks 4583 shirts do you own? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the wall here... Here, we're going to take a quick um, pause so we can get a better shot yeah, of it. We are going to pause... And then we're going to come back and we're going to filter through these. And uh, we're not going to count as we go, but you can count if you want. And then we'll have a little, uh, we'll have a little calculation at the end. Uh, so I get to get rid of that. I'm done with it. All right, and we're going to pause and we'll be right back. All right, and go. Okay, we're back. All right, so this is uh, not something that I had on display before, but once I got the question, I started to work. So. This entire wall is Pop Lock shirts, and it's not all of them. So, uh, Bigfoot shirt, vintage, which is one of my favorites. Now, these two guys here, I um, I got from uh, 
Cody. Uh, I think this one was part of a eBay thing I got, and then this one he gifted to me, which was which was incredible. I'm um, pretty sure we first showed him off when we were still up in the craft room. Yeah, filming. I think we did. Um, but so a lot of the stuff uh, here, of course, uh, is um, you know his work. Uh, I don't know how much. I assume almost everything, except for you know maybe the two guns. But even these pouches are all filled with little knickknacks and gadgets. Um, do you need more light on it, or are you good? No, it was just okay. the shadow. Um, and then we get into some of these. This this is my buddy Brian uh, with the Liberty and Justice for All and, and flag on the back. This one I love. This is one of the first shirts I got from it. It says, I identify as an action figure, not a doll. I think it's kind of obvious. Do you get that? Yep. That's one of my, that was one of the first ones I think that I That may got. have been what started the addiction. Yeah, um, I, I just thought it was hysterical, and I bit on that. And then uh, the Bigfoot one, with the, uh, with the, which was first. And then dropping down, <clears throat> we have Emma, 1-6 scale Emma in her Elite Action Joe Studios shirt. Now, me and Jay each have one of these, but ours are in black. We'll add those to the count. And then here's 1-6 Daddle. In his, of course, Spider, Spider Monkey. Monkey films. I was hoping Emma would join in. Uh, and then here's one six scale Jameson in his Pop Logs forty five eighty three shirts. Now we go a little faster after this. Well, it's GI Joe. Uh, this is a custom FedEx. I did him in a, a short. I think it's uh, Cody did this shirt for me with the arm things. Um, basically, I put together a one six scale other me uh, as a, as uh, my a driver. Down here, he did a special sweatshirt uh, for Emma's girls from for the Sasquad team. Riding, it's Bigfoot riding a unicorn. Yep, very cool. Very the the the, the girl stuff he does is amazing. Um, Emma's gonna ask for a lot of that for Christmas. Yes. Um, so yeah, keep the keep the sewing machine running. Um, another Poplar 4583 on Pete. This one is cool. This is hold the line. Now this guy I started putting together, uh, when I got this shirt, I was like, that's perfect. This is sort of my, I think this might be Sarge's little brother because he's uh, a lot of a lot of similarities. And then also, if you go to the hat, he made that too. It's hard to see, but I didn't even rec realize it at first till Jay spotted it. But in there, in the flag is actually the symbol for social, the band Social Distortion is a skeleton. And it's got the um, words. It's it's awesome. Like, and I missed out, missed that because I, I don't know. I just it sort of comes through. Uh, then I got Seth, who uh, you guys I did a video on that. Are you getting the, the yeah. lighting is kind of off. Yeah, the lights weird lately. Is this, would this help us? Yeah, it might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's, okay. Yeah. So Seth and his Pop Lux forty five eighty three. That this uh, whole figure came from Cody as a gift to me because I was dabbling and uh, wanting some of his more fancy figures which i'm still going back and forth and now filmaholic i've been watching film holic a lot um he's he does some great stuff now we're going to go down the line you've seen most of these but i did add two to my international team um new zealand and um israel so those are all so now i got six in that team which at some point I'll do, we'll probably do a stop motion. So Cody made all those. Uh, <clears throat> this shirt on the side, it says United States of America flag. And then on the back, it says for the ones. The ones that served abroad and among sure. us, thank you. I couldn't read it because of the crinkle. And then, of course, the flag. He's got flags on almost all of his stuff, which is, of course... Uh, this is also in one of the first bundles I got because it was during COVID. So it says social we distancing. We showed that one off, I think, in the garage. In the, our third video. Uh, social distancing uh, COVID-19 on the back says, please stay at least six feet away from my uh, rifle muzzle, which is awesome. This shirt was fantastic. I had to have it. Make Toys in America again. You can't go wrong with that one. Um... That that was, I think that could have been in the same bundle. I think now, I got three or four. Yeah, I think it was because I think we showed the, that one off at the same time. 
And then I talked to him about doing some custom shirts for my Elite Action Joe team. Uh, so he did these long sleeve, really cool, this textured um, shirt. Uh, and then they all have the red flag on the right arm. And then they all have the Adventure Team symbol on the left. And I customized the figures and the, painted the masks up. Um, and then, of course, the Sasquatch shirts, which are actually uh pop locks 4583 mastermind cody came up with our that uh that team for us we i was talking to him i needed something for our our team of bigfoot uh researcher guys hunters whatever and he came up with and coined the phrase sasquad sent me a picture of this wonderful logo and sasquad began uh, this guy here is actually the same guy, which I usually don't let them be in the same area at the same time. Emma was freaking out. No, we don't want a time travel paradox, yeah, you know. But it's very cool sweatshirt that he did. And he did a little scully with the, the Sasquatch on it. And now uh, the next thing, this is a uh, something that hasn't been shown on film before. This is the newest, there's going to be, when he goes left, hold on. When he goes left, you're going to see the newest Sasquad member. If you guys remember back, uh, remember Dick got killed, and we needed a new one. Uh, so the guy that uh, got killed by uh, Bigfoot way back in last year. But uh, so I bought a figure off of uh, off Jeff over at uh, Skunk Works, who had a big old beard similar to Jeff, but he didn't have a bald head. But I still named the character Jeff. So. So I, I said, well, this, this, this character is going to be the new Sasquatch guy, and his name is Jeff. So here he is here in all his glory. This is our, make sure you pan down a little bit. Make sure you zoom in on the kettlebell here. Um, so this is, our, this is our new Sasquatch member. Uh, that's Jeff. So. Man, we should have used that for our day of the week photo. We named him after Jeff from Skunk Works. <laughs> well, it's hard when I can't see the character. I know, he's blocking it. But he has to because he's got the camera. So now we're going to take another pause and then come back. Okay, and then uh, to continue the Pop Locks uh, questions, uh, here's a, uh, a small rack. Uh, this comes out of our Pop Locks 1-6 scale mortar store, which we actually were going to do until my injury. But um, So some of these you've seen before. You've seen our subscribe and our comment. Gonna set those Can over there. Then we also have this Bigfoot one. Uh, I have my Elite Action Joe. And then another extra Sasquatch. Then um, a couple of these are Emma's. This little, I'll get that one in a minute. My Christmas Sasquatch. Um, this was really cool. This was one of uh, for Emma's girls, a little sleeveless hoodie. The hoodies are always so the amazing. The hoodies are amazing. The quality. He does Even just a little those. the drawstring thingies. Are and just... then Cody actually sent me this as a gift in one of my orders, and Emma liked it, so that's kind of her girls now. Um, it's got the cool almost plate carrier. And then she also has this uh, Sasquad pink hoodie for her girls. And then Jay had this Second Amendment thing, uh, or shirt here. And then Emma <coughs> has her favorite shirt on one of her girls, so she's going to hand that girl to me. <coughs> this was specially made for Emma by Cody. And it is the Adventure Team, the Adventure Team Veterinarian. And with this little logo on the back and again with the hoodies you can see the detail of little cords and stuff and then the also a little. little shoulder emblem and she loved the fact there's this little pocket on there and this is <coughs> Emma's veterinarian figure with her favorite pop lock shirt she wants it on the dog tag she's very cool okay uh, now I'm going to move on to a few other things because that is like the bulk of what we my of shirts. But I know I'm missing a couple that are in a box somewhere. I think Emma might have one more. Also, um, just a brief also, flash that I thought of. Jay brought these down because he said, "Oh, I thought you said bring all my pop lock shirts," and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't bring mine. I didn't know if he meant. I just thought one six scale." 
But you know he makes one one shirts too. This is our favorite. I have this one yeah. in green. There's one day we accidentally both end up wearing the same shirt too. Yeah. Um, but as far as one one shirts, um, I think we have about Emma. You have two. I have two. Yes. We also have like the hoodie, the several of the shirts. Yeah. So we have about probably six, seven, eight. eight with yeah. Emma's, I think eight. Yeah. Sounds, total sounds about right. So um, so we do that, but. When you when you think pop locks, there's way more to it than just that. Now here's my pop locks box, um, and this is just some of the other crazy stuff that I've, I've gotten. Now he did the Sasquad drop. Uh, he included this. That's what that is. I've been looking for the. I, oh. I thought these were lost. These are the the steering bars for for Sasquad my vehicle. Sasquad vehicle. I had the little box with all the little attachments. Um, but I couldn't find those 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 rails. Uh, there are some uh, BDU jackets, a winter jacket. This is another one of my elite action. The hexagon teams. pattern shirt. Um, and then yeah, here, um, back up there for you. There is the parachute he included. I don't know if he made this. I assume he did by the the detailing in it. I, I assume he made it because that's him. That's what he does. Uh, also, this beautiful. Sasquad. So cool. I've always loved box. how it, like, the pulley system. And then the Sasquad. So, I'm just showing you this because we're having a little Sasquad moment here. But then this is filled with ropes, stuff that, hooks, uh, you know, we've gear. gotten from them. Uh, hooks and ropes and all kinds of, there's the cover for this. Um, the box swings down and has, like, sort of pulley system that attaches yeah, all, all the, the sides. All the sides flip down. Um... And Something. of course, to open it, you gotta have this one six scale crowbar. Um, so that box, and that's the problem. I I was trying to organize different things, and I moved to this box, and then I kind of ran out of room in this box, so I started moving my um, my pop lock shirts around, and I, I think I lost the box. I might even have six or seven more myself, <clears throat> but I can't find them. They're here somewhere because we. I was going through a transition. It's hard for me to move stuff, and Jay's been pretty busy. A um, couple more things to show you, and then I'll shut up and we'll move on. The great thing about pop locks is some of the little things that, that show up. This came with my first order. It was during COVID, and he sent me a COVID mask. And a little paracord bracelet inside. And another paracord bracelet. And a little knife. And a tiny little wallet. And then down the line, he said, I, I made a comment one day on videos. Is my face in there? Yeah, your face is in there. Don't Good worry. Good thing I'm short. Um, and I said something about duck, uh, tomahawks. So over the last you know couple years, he's made me a couple of these. I think I have three. There's also a, the knife on the one guy, I think. But this is the, these are, <clears throat> I love these. These are like my favorite. I think one of my, my favorite things is always the little carabiner. It's just like, because they're just such a small little thing you wouldn't think of. We got our zip line, which we never actually used because we were. Remember, I needed to find that uh, wire that he yeah. told us to use, and then uh, we just never got the chance. He included a small holster, belt holster, in one. Now this was cool. This uh, this was actually this came with this figure, and this was his. Um, Basically, his transfer paper to our unit, which I thought was awesome. Um, that's the kind. Of, that's kind of the he in he puts into with it. it. Now here's some of the stuff. Like every single this, he wraps each box with little things with little notes. And I always save the gift. paper, um, which seems like kind of high school girl box of notes under your bed kind of thing, I guess. But they're just sometimes they're funny or they're like it's just so fun to reasons. see how like so that's the box I'm missing is a lot of these wrappers. But then also the last thing I'll show you is um, careful. My one, uh, my it's an action figure display case. I call it my cube, even though I know it's not square. But it's it's my. So this is my box that contains all the boxes, all the boxes from Pop Box forty five eighty three. Um, minus a few. Because yeah, because uh, minus a few because this one's full. <laughs> I but 
Here's the, you know, when he sent us my, my Sasquatch stuff. In so uh, many of our videos, it, we, it would just be visible right behind you. Yeah, a lot of them I have sitting on. Uh, there's the Elite Action Joe Studios one. But it's always a, like some new box. This is one of my favorite where Sarge is sitting on the sewing machine. So I, yeah, I keep all these, and um, there's some in the middle in here holding it all together and keeping it tight. And that's kind of a display, and sometimes I'll have it displayed behind me there. Sometimes it'll be that way, depending on which way it goes. These I put together because they were all this STF. Normally, he doesn't do the same boxes, but I had bought so much in one bundle. I, I got uh, two back to back, and then this was a bigger box that contained smaller. There's probably, yeah, there's probably still a bunch more boxes in that one. Yeah, so so that's the kind of care and dedication that it's makes insane. me want to continue my Pop Locks 4583 collecting. And if I find the rest of those, we'll get you a magical count. But right now, Emma, what would be our number? Well, of right now, the ones we have in this room, 46. So, 46 that we just went through here, here, here. Then we're going to add... A couple so about there. Let's say 6 to 10 more. Because Jay knows he has a couple in his room. Which may never be seen again. Because that room... No. We won't be down that one. Oh, but don't anyway. you try that. Uh, anyway, but we, and Emma thinks she might have one or two more. Yeah, uh, Christmas. And so we, we believe somewhere between six and ten, so we're 50, between like... 50. And heck, 50. who knows how many we might still have on figures like out in the garage and stuff. That's right, I think mostly garage guys are in, because he was definitely in the garage. Yeah, but he you was, never know. Yeah, because the people who were in there... We're in the so I will I will go on record saying for sure of 50. we have fifty pop locks shirts. I think it's closer to fifty five. If we add our once our one one scale ones, we're up over sixty. And if you add all the individual little gear and stuff, the total pop yeah, locks inventory is probably a good excessive. Estimation. So we will say shirts one six scale shirts fifty. Minimum. Take. Minimum. Uh, yeah, minimum. But probably closer to 55. Maybe uh, maybe s that one box, I think. Because we probably have plenty of them scattered about that we've yeah. on, on figures so, that have gone in boxes and crates. and. But on that note, we are going to wrap this one up because we're probably pretty close to 20 minutes. And I know you guys get sick of me, but are we at 20 or over 20? Over. Well, okay, then I'll shut I up. I knew that. So for now, we'll be back with part two, which we like to call Adam asked a question. What? Part two is called Adam Asked a Question. So, we're going to wrap this one up. Everybody say goodbye. See you later. Bye. To the next one.